Hi guys, uh, we are Team EV. Uh, we are here to tackle Challenge 2. And the way we are going to address it is we're going to use IOTS, IOT's device, to collect data. And then we're going to use the data to optimize the energy usage within the building management so that we can provide monitoring services and predictive modeling. So right now we observe that most of the data, uh, based on the data set that's provided, right, is uh, retrospective in nature. So which means that uh, people can really only take, take action after a certain event has been ha happened. So this is not very optimal in terms of resource usage, and it can involve uh, high cost as well. So we are looking to address that problem by introducing predictive modeling. So uh, one of the reason, uh, one of the method to do that is through collecting of big data. So what we intend to do is we intend to tap on the existing infrastructure data. Then we will collect more precise and granular data from our IoT devices, which is easy to implement. And then we also tap on external data like uh, APIs from NEA that can give us weather data as well, which can be critical to um, the building management. So we'll feed all this data into our uh, an analytic platform and machine learning algorithm. So from the data output, so we look to make use of this data to provide information so that they can uh, act in advance to save costs and to do predictive maintenance. So I'm going to do a quick demo of our IoTS device. Yeah, we have IoT device built, uh, with the ability to uh, monitor temperature, humidity, and we have also the lighting sensor. The IoT device can be fitted with other functions like um, m machine monitoring and whatever resources actually available in the building. So, all right. So. From all the data we collect, we actually input it into a dashboard. Okay, so data is useless if it doesn't give any action points. So what this dashboard do is that it translates those data into action points. So at the top of the dashboard are KPIs of the different systems. So whenever we see a red, that indicates that we need some attention on the ASU in this example. So the dashboard is split into two. The top part is purely monitoring. If we spot any abnormal trend, we can actually step in and intervene before um, we, the alarm is triggered. And then the second part of the dashboard is where the predictive modeling comes in. So with enough quality data, we can actually do forecast of the lifespan of a, uh, the health status of a system. So in, if we see an abnormal dip before the next maintenance, we might want to schedule it earlier so that we can save costs in terms of, uh, well, when we do pre uh, well, we preempt the, the failure, right? Uh, in summary, what our team is trying to achieve here is to use big data to translate this data into actionable points and then use these points to optimize the resource in the building management in the current environment. So thank you for your attention. Maybe something about the uh, machine learning that you mentioned. Uh, can you say a bit more about that? Given the current data set, we are trying to predict failure rates. So, uh, or rather, faults in the system. Unfortunately, when we try to we run the algorithm overnight, when we see errors like communication error, most of the data point returns NA because it's coming from the system and maybe the sensor is lost. So we could not make use of uh, a lot of the current data just now. So that's why uh, I think this is where our IoT device will be useful because it will be uh, independent from the system and it can actually use to predict the conditions that cause the machine to fail. Uh, normally, for some big machinery in uh, a normal building, we collect some uh, uh, conditioning, uh, mo some co uh, com motor conditioning, for example. The system, right, normally we have to analyze ourselves. So if you fit all of the information through machine learning, the machine learning could be able to tell you that whether the, the machine is going to fail and when it's going to fail. It's easier and better than human, human detection.